between steps or if you have to get something like a telephone otherwise you will smear everything with oil um, and especially the missus doesn't like that so here goes get that up to 1750, 1800 well, um, I always use a small sheet of um, uh, plywood just to protect my uh, leg from water or for, from excess oil splatting off. Um, okay. So you will get messy fingers from this, but it's just oil. Make sure it's really good and wet and just start your standing. I hope you can understand this while the engine is running. Don't let it get dry. If it gets dry, just re-dip re it into the oil. I just leave my pads into the oil. And if the top sheet with the diamond powder um, starts um, peeling off, I just get fresh, uh, fresh pads. This method really uh, helps with uh, getting a, a nice, nice sheen while still going through all the steps. Now mind you, um, this this form of uh, wet sanding, because you don't use any CA at all, um, if you use lighter woods or uh, open rain woods, uh, it's really prone to uh, smearing. So if you have darker woods, uh, uh, the, the dust, if you, if you will, will collect in the pores uh, and it will collect and smear out uh, on the larger color woods like maple or beech or birch or whatever. Um, also be careful around your bushings uh, because you will uh, have some small filings from the, from the metal bushings that will get into your uh, larger colored woods if they are on the, uh, if the, if the larger woods are on the uh, extremities of your uh, uh, lines. Now because I did this uh, dry sanding up to 600, it doesn't really need much. But the first step I like to be sure. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but I clean off the uh, pad a little bit to get the wood smearing off uh, before I leave it to rest. And then just put the used pad aside and go to the next step. Again, soak it. And you can see it's really, yeah, it's a dirty way of sanding, but it gets a really nice finish. And after you have the first set good, you can, uh, you can do the next steps, the following steps, you can do them a little bit faster. Don't do, need that much time. Now for this blank, I'm not going to um, uh, stop the lathe and um, uh, do the uh, it lengthwise sanding because this is cross grain walnut. So yeah, you're already going with the grain. For the first steps, it might help. I can actually show you. But for cross cut, it's just not necessary. For walnut, at least, and you don't smear everything with the oil. So. You can try and wash the sanding pads in between uses, but yeah, it's good to keep them soaking out better. Otherwise, you might get moisture in between the uh, sanding layers into the foam, and that might ruin your uh, finish in the end. 
make sure you keep moving. It might be useful to put a paper towel on the lower side if you have a sloping one. Oil, um, this will not harm your lathe or lathe bed or anything like that, but um, linseed oil does uh, polymerize over time and might get really sticky, so you don't want it in between your moving parts uh, or, or your tailstock or, or whatever. Um, you might get really, really sticky uh, movement. Take about five to ten minutes. And due to the sanding, the wood warms up and cools down every time, and that helps uh, to soak it with uh, with the oil. Uh, usually, I add a little bit of beeswax to the oil, so I warm the oil and then uh, add the beeswax. Uh, Give some uh, of a matrix, filling pores, um, small cracks if you have them. I try to avoid those. <laughs> you should try to avoid those. Now, I don't know if this method is known or not, or whatever. It's just something I started trying, especially for walnuts and other oily woods. get the same uh, glossy sheen or even high gloss if you take it really far if you take longer steps if you leave out the buffing with the uh, renaissance wax uh, you get a semi gloss you can even leave out uh, the finer steps of the uh, uh, micro mesh This is the final step, start passing grids. The last two or three steps I really take my time to get a even, even sheen. And you can see even now with the 12,000 grids it's still taking off a little material at a time. So keep doing your rocking movement. You see the oil is actually um, Loosening the, the sandpaper from the from the foam backing. Um, but as long as you don't go against the rotational direction, it shouldn't be an issue. Now if you add beeswax to the mix, uh, you will get a nicer buffing uh, because all the pores are filled with a little bit of wax over time. Um, 
usually it's about, I don't know, 5%, 10% maximum, but I go by weight, uh, aim for 5%, and you see the, the, the red tarnish from the, from the bushings. I've got a thinner, thinner piece of a towel, wrap it up a little bit, 2400, and just start burnishing a little bit. Now, as long as you don't use any recycled paper, you know, the, the, the brown hard fiber stuff, this will not scratch your wood at any, uh, in any way. It will only add to the sheen. So put this aside. We have these smaller pieces of folded paper towel. I usually always use two. Just want to uh, wax on and want to wax off. I actually saw that movie when it first came out. Shit. Mm. So, one with the wax and one with the. Oh, nothing. It's clean. You just take light passes, putting the wax on. And you already see the sheen appearing. In first application, you don't have any or not a lot of excess wax because it tends to get into the pores a little bit. Burnish it a little bit. Buff it. Just a little bit. New wax. Now again, this is Renaissance wax. I think you can get it online anyway. But I buy it at a specialty store. See a nice gloss in there. Ooh, that sounded like Bob Ross. Got the little wood. So we got the little wax over here. There. One really satisfied fan line. Wasn't that fun? <laughs> Now this will never be, um, I do three application of the wax, uh, anyway, but this will never be as high a gloss as you can get on the CA finish, or uh, polyurethane finish, or whatever, um, but for natural uh, finishes, uh, this is about the smoothest um, I've got. Um, sanding paper, even the waterproof sanding paper, um, if you have the dark color or black uh, sanding paper, it smears up your wood, uh, darkens it really much. Uh, so that wasn't an option. I've got a clean piece of the towel, wrap it up even more. It's about yeah, 3,000. You can go out to four if you want. Just Make sure you don't push it too hard, and then really buff it, go to one, clean surface again. There you go. That's it. And you get the, I think you call it chatoyans. It's a French term, but it's the the, the shimmer and the shine uh, shine um, in the in the wood itself in the in the grain. Every time you get to long grain, you get this really nice sheen that just passes by, and this will remain uh, for a long time, even if untouched. Um, one advantage of this method is that um, uh, the woods. Um, stays available for polishing by um, 
uh, fats from your hand, uh, uh, from your fingers. Um, so it will get prettier over time and with the CA finish it might get uglier over time due to acids and fats and stuff like that. So just for comparison. Uh, this is another pen from from the same order. You see uh, you already have that uh, Chateaillance due to the 600 grit. And then uh, the oil really brings up the uh, coloring, pops the grain um, and yeah, makes it a little bit more durable than uh, Just bare wood or plain wood, and you get a nice high gloss. So, I will uh, add some finished. I might even assemble this one, and then I can show you in a few minutes. Be right back. Okay. So I've got it assembled. Um, this is the pen we just did. You can see it as the Chateaillance. I hope it's visible on the camera anyway. Uh, you have the Chateaillance, but it's it's a really a natural finish. So you feel the wood, you feel the pores. It's nothing um, uh, plasticky about it. And this is another one I did a while back. This has a CA finish with the linseed oil um, uh, pre-coat uh, to pop the grain uh, and the colors. Brings up nice contrast, and um, it, it 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 just shines a bit more. It's a bit more plastic feel to it, look to it. Well, it's plastic anyway, but you can see the difference uh, between a sheen and a shine, <laughs> or whatever. Um, I hope this video was useful. Um, if you have any comments or critique or tips, uh, just leave them in the comments, please. Thank you. Until next time.